Hello and welcome back to Fallout 76. So, from the last video I did of Fallout 76, wasn't too well received. I understand. Fallout 76 is not the best uh, of the Fallout series. Uh, I like it. I like it because it deals with my home state of West Virginia. Uh, I like it because I love the camp building process. Um, and it just seems like it flows better. I don't know. Just me, I guess. But I thought I'd give a few more videos on a try on this one. And also, they have a new update called Skyline Valley, uh, where you find a vault called Vault 63. Not really sure anything about that update, um, but I am going to go ahead and explore it eventually. Uh, and I'd like to take you guys along with me, if possible. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how the videos go and how well you like them and how often you view them. So I wanted to start off by showing you, if you've never actually ever played Fallout 76, how Fallout 76 works is a player versus player game. Uh, it's co-op playing. You know, it's entirely up to you how you want to play it. Or you can play it single player as well, which is what I usually do. And I meet people in the game as well. And some people are really cool. Some people are not so cool. So it just depends. Um, one other thing you can do is... One other thing to have is the Atomic Shop. Which I know a lot of people have issues with. Because you have to pay for your um, stuff in here. Uh, but every so often they do offer free stuff. Uh, like for example here we have camp free stuff. Let's see if we can find it. Um, do -do 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 -do. Oh, shelters, po posters. I like that. We'll grab that. Um, so that's a freebie. Yeah, you want to grab all the free stuff that you can't they offer you. Photo modes, emotes. Let's see what we got here. Join my public team. I'll take that one. No mic. Nice camp. Lunchbox. Uh, let's see. So sorry. Utility. Oh, this is the best ones because you get a free scrap kit. Unfortunately, that's the only free one you get. Okay, so we are now back. So what I want to do in this video really quickly and it's now nighttime. Um, I wanted to kind of show you where to get the stuff. I always love looking for stuff before I start an adventure because you're gonna need the stuff later on. So we've already went this way and, oh, we can get more stuff. Thank you. I should have, oh. Okay, so, um, so we can go this way, go to the right, and get our stuff. Now, where did I get the revolver, you're probably asking. Well, um, hang on a minute. Wait, wait, let me take care of something here first. Um. And I'll get back with you. Just give me a second. Let me take care of this guy. Okay. Um. So, I went back and played through again. I started it all over again. And I um, went back the same way I just went, just now. And I picked up a revolver off that dead body. Which is kind of weird. So, it kind of randomly gives you um, weapons at different times. So, I just went through again and got another uh, gun, a pipe pistol. Which is what I first started off with when you first saw this. Um, but now I have the revolver, which I absolutely love. It is so good. But this it, this area had completely changed. And I was kind of um, having a, 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 a kind of a cow about it because of how much it changed. Uh, but yeah, you can come down this way, get some stuff. You know, wipe out all the ghouls. Make sure they're all gone. Um, in 
come into all these different places, find stuff that you need. Yeah. Don't go wrong. Oh, okay. How about that? I don't like that. And then come over here, kind of pick up some stuff over here as well. You can also, as you can hear in the distance, there's a raider over here, I think. And he's kind of shooting a lot. And I went over there and I picked up a, um, excuse me. Went over there and I picked up, um, wait a minute, wrong, wrong thing, sorry. A short combat rifle from him. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have enough ammo for it just yet. But yeah, he was over here running away, and I started shooting at him, and then I went ahead and picked up a short combat rifle from him. So, that's another way you can do it. You can take it off and go this direction if you want to. I can't remember which way it goes. Something's out there, I know it. Nope, there he is again. See him right there? Oh, I missed. Oh, every time. There he is. Someone out there? Yeah. Okay. So, let's see, let's see what he gives us this time. 44 rounds and a 10 millimeter auto pistol. Oh, okay, that's cool. All right, so you can knock him off a little bit and then pick up some more stuff if you want. Okay, so that's that's one way you can go. Oh, he's gonna. I don't know what it is. Okay. I switched to this one. Plastic cap. Okay. Alright. That wasn't cool. Silver fork. That's all you had. Silver fork. Okay, so, after you go that way, you go past the ladies here. Hello, how are you ladies? We've already just, just we've already talked. Um, oh, nice. Five tomahawks, that's cool. This is the Welcome to the Wasteland box. Uh, you can put stuff in it, uh, other people put things in it, but I just took a bunch of stuff, so. Uh, that's another area that you can go to get some stuff. Uh, it's getting to be close to daylight now. So another way you can go is go this way and go around this hill where the vault entrance is. At least it used to be anyway. So we will see if it still exists. Let's see if we still are able to get over here to this place. Still here? It's this little shack.
damn straight he ran off. That's right, buddy. Oh. Okay. That's the third one. Okay. So you can go in here and pick up a few supplies, like a baseball cap. Which we're going to put that on our character. Okay. A uh, hide bundle. Okay. Um, straw pillow. Oh, here's another. Uh, here's a. Here's, what? <laughs> I can't even talk. It was another gun. Uh, Cajun rice and beans. Let's eat that. Uh, seafood. Let's eat that. Gonna bring our health up and give us some radiation. But oh well. Empty can. Bobby pin box. Clip lighter. 44 rounds. 308 rounds. And I imagine this would be the same as anything else. It kind of changes. So what I'm picking up, you may not pick up. 45 rounds. Where you coil complicated. Blah, 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 blah. Wonder glue. Wonder glue is always important to have. Wonder glue, duct tape, things like that. Always important to have. That's going to help. Okay, vegetarian ham. Seafood. Wine. Take it. Okay. So this is another little area you can pick up stuff at. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Reload. Okay, so now from the vault entrance, after we went around the back, we'll go down here to the left. Past our wasteland box and the ladies, which we've already talked to. We're gonna go down here. There is a shack right down over the hill here. It's called the Moonshine Shack. And that's another little spot you can pick up some stuff. But I wanted to show you another spot down this way. Because most generally everybody heads in this direction when they get ready to go into the wilderness. And do not go into the wilderness unless you have a weapon of some sort. Trust me, you'll need it. Because normally, I thought I heard another one. Normally, it's these guys running around. This guy's wandering around. He's shooting off some of the Chinese robots, which is hmm, interesting. Because usually, there's Chinese robots down here, too. That's kind of weird. But they don't have those in the game anymore. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hang on. Let's loot this guy. Doll left arm. That's okay. Oh, okay. So we got some information going on here. Oh my! Orders from Maria Chavez. Paul, I need you to make the make the monthly scouting run to Vault 76. Those doors have to open sometime. Don't take risks. Observe for a few days and come back, Maria. Hmm, interesting. Oh, did I take it? Okay, I didn't. Take it. Machete. Free war money. Okay. 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 We got a machete too now. Okay. So we got a little melee weapon. I don't do a lot of melee stuff. Sorry. Just don't. And then there's a little spot down here. It's a little watchtower, which actually is showing up a lot better than what it did before, because before it used to be kind of hidden back here, and you couldn't really see it very well. But now it's like way out in the open now. And I don't know if this dude is friendly or not. I think he's a friendly dude. It's hard oh. work making a living out here. Yep. And this is the first spot you can come down to. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we get our first little bit of uh, armor right there. You can sleep here if you want. You can make up something if you need to. I don't think I have anything to make up, though. Uh, let's see. It's hard work making a living out here. Yeah, yeah, I know. I heard you. 
Okay. Exit, exit. Okay. And then we can go up here. Go past him. If we could expand our area all the way out here, the raiders don't have a chance. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. It's whatever. Oh, man, are you kidding me? Oh, no. Uh, let me now explain. The people have come back to this area. Mm -hmm. They'll all want to be setting up places like Foundation. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Okay. We'll talk about that later. Oh, man. This sucks. Oh, sorry. Let me explain what's going on. So, oh. Well, that's pretty good here. Mountain. Gotta keep a lookout for raiders. <laughs> mountain honey. I'm gonna take some mountain honey. Okay. So, anyway. Um, normally, there's like a couple of chairs set up here. And there's a banjo oh, and a guitar. All over. <laughs> and you can... Oh, building this place up is hard work. Uh, and so, you can actually sit... Oh, no. One had a banjo. The other one had a mouth harp. And you can actually sit here and play uh, music. And they're gone. They've been replaced by this thing here. They've been replaced by this, which is basically this guy and a radio. Um, and he's kind of annoying. Okay. So, those are the first kind of areas that you can get into. You didn't do anything. Cable knife. Nice. All right, so let's head on down the hill. Well, no, let's go to the moonshine shack. I'll show you that. It's over in this direction. So this is the moonshine shack. Oh, and, and instantly you get attacked by these things. about the ticks. What was that? What was that? It was ticks. Hey! It's just about time to eat. About time to eat? Foul <laughs> tick. Foul tick. About time to eat and all these people are dying and, and they're all dead. He's like, oh, about time to eat. Charging laser sniper rifle, stem pack. Finally, a nice day. Finally, a nice day. More money. Take that. Hide bundle, moonshine jug. Brewing station. So you can actually brew stuff here. Uh, uh, different moonshines and stuff like that. Beer minimal beer and they all kind of give you different uh, buffs as well okay this fix that never seems to end and dog food take that okay let's go over here and check out what's see what's in the other one I was thinking there's another tick around here somewhere oh Oh, that's very visceral. Yeah, not enough people nowadays value the importance of a well-crafted meal. Uh-huh. Weapons workbench. If the scorched or the ferals don't get you, the rads will. And there's your first mod you can pick up. Crafts? Can we craft certain, craft certain items? Let's see what we can craft. Mm. 
make a board. No, we can't really do anything right at this point. Okay. All right, so let's see, dandy boy apples. Now that people have come back to this let's area, that. they all want to be setting up places like Foundation. Let's learn that. Potato, let's eat that. Let's eat some corn. Let's see, can we do any of the crafting, this crafting station? Um, uh, okay, syrup. About it. Okay. Nice day. Whatever. All your friends are dead and you don't even notice it. Finally. Last dang good day. Oh. That was not good. Okay. Whatever. Might need a little bit more salt. Whatever. Okay, you're an idiot. So anyway, so that's everything right around the vault that you can pick up and grab your stuff. So now let's head back over to where we started from and we'll head on down the path and see what else is there. Okay, so let's head on down the hill here. See what else we can run into. Nice, clearly defined path. And I think there's a sh there's a, not a shack, but a, a cabin over here on the left as well. So we might want to go to that cabin. What? What is doing that? All right. So let's go over this cab. See if we can find this cabin. I know I go off the path a lot, but there was a but there was a cab. There was a cabin over here. Somewhere. I think. At least it was. Let's see if it's this way. New miscellaneous quests available. Here, let's see if we can find the cabin. Oh, there it is, right here. I don't know what's here now. I gotta be careful. Isolated cabin. Felt like someone was walking behind me. Yeah, the wind chimes. That's a very West Virginia thing. <laughs> Graham, my grandmother had a set of wind chimes. Some notes. Oh. Ghoul's note one. It says, Mr. and Mrs. Braxton, my name is William Keller. And I represent a group of brave men and women who you may, may, may wish to meet. In the years since our new lives began, many of us have begun to lose things we once took for granted. Our skin, a face, an old voice. Most painfully, each of us have lived to see our friends and loved ones die around us. It's been 20 years. No one should have suffered in loneliness and fear. You are not alone. Wow. That's different. And here's Ghoul's note number two. If you're interested in meeting a group of your neighbors has gathered to the east, we've been contacted by a larger community like ours living in the capital. Apparently, the city was hit hard. But they say as society is beginning to grow there, we are considering joining them. WK. Huh. That's new. That's new. Wind chimes. That, that is so... Okay. Caps. Frying pan. All the pans. So, um... The normal ghouls intelligent ones are starting to gather and form a community. That's very, very interesting. Alright, so Shapeless Lamp, and this is Reuben, or Vault 51 over here. 
There's his checklist. Distract him. Stash the rest of the supplies. Jump in the other crate. Pray to God I survive. Find anyone from 76. Kill Zax. Pretty simple list. Shelter building supplies. Need more materials to keep building in the shelter. Wood, steel, screws, gears, copper. Okay. So we have the key, so let's open this up now. Oh. I thought we had a key. Didn't we have a key? Yeah. Go, go, go. This way. This way. There we go. Silver locket. Technical data. And another level. Oh, right. Okay. So, this is another little spot where you can pick up some stuff. Box hide. Uh, oh, weapons workbench. Wood pile. Pick up some wood if you need to. What does it say? Rub? One half rug? <laughs> I don't know. Didn't quite get it. Alright, I think the water here is... Wonder glue. That's it. Here's the outhouse. Uh, oh, okay, but it smells... Like the past of blood pack, and then... Oh, here we have another untitled poem. It's, um, uh, a mooned wood mooning room in wooded woods, sharp rocks under ramp patches and raspberry thorns. I run quick, quickly through the dark, feeling my way into the blacker space, but let, let loose the spiced egg batch without sitting down. I'm a gunner and a bomber, languidly turning above the cumulus raining death with American precision. Hmm. I think we'll just leave that. Alright, so... I think that's all we can do here at the shack. Or the isolated cabin. And I think you can drink the water, too. I don't think it's irradiated, so it can't... Oh, yeah, I guess it is irradiated. Okay, never mind. So let's get back on this little path here. Now, we're off the, the main path that we were on before. We're now on a different path. The main path is over there. So let's head back over to the main path and come down. I don't want to miss anything. So, the game has a lot of new things in it that, that even I'm not aware of, actually. Here, we stop and think about it. Um, like, a lot of this stuff, I'm not even really, you know, like, wow, this is different. One thing, the graphics are slightly different. Um, you can actually see things better. I think I'm in the right spot. I don't know. I'm not sure where I'm at. Hang on a second. I'm going to find my way back. Where's the path? Where's the path? I lost the path. All right, let's let's head back up toward the. Oh, okay. So there's the. There's the tower. Okay. So I'm not too far off. Okay, there's the path. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah. Yeah. okay there's the path. Okay, there we go. We're back on the path again.
so. What's that? There's a dude over there with a rabid raccoon, I think. Okay, let's go over and check him out. And this is a lumber mill, I think. Oh, okay. Um, I think this is a lumber mill. Yeah, some of these guys are so sneaky. This is a lumber mill, I think. And, or maybe it's a, uh, maybe it's a metal yard. I, I can't remember. But the responders have set up here. And um, you can go in here and get, I think you could used to be able to go in here and get wood. No, it's a lumber yard. Okay, it's a lumber yard. Um, you can go in here and get wood if you need to for building your settlement. But let's go back over here to the rabbit raccoon thing. Fix that. There we go. No, I'm not. I, I need some more, more of that nuclear shine. Last time, it, it hit me harder than a train. No, you don't. Okay, so not much. Just about time to eat. He's talking about being higher in a train now. He's talking about, oh, just about time to eat. Hey, it's just about time to eat. It's just about time to eat. Anyway, so that's all that was. Okay, so I, it's not quite what I thought it was going to be. Um, okay. So let's go down here and check out the lumber yard. And then we'll check out that house. And then we'll call an end to the... The, um, the video. My thing just popped up. Something popped up. It wasn't a healthy pop up. It was like a red. Dead. There's me. And I like in 76 when you, um, when you haven't looted the bodies, they kind of glow and help you find them. here oh this is new oh awesome there's actually oh this is the responders the responders are here oh okay i see i got you wow they've really kind of taken over everything okay so this is a really decent place now um hey can i get you anything no i'm just looking around thank you very much um yeah wow okay take it Okay, At least they say I can't take it. Okay, so the responders are here. Awesome. Chop this is blood. really cool. Chop blood. Chop blood. Let us know if we find someone in need out here. Yeah. 
Well, I'm gonna need you to move out of the way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The refuge is holding up without me. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Aluminum scrap. Oh, there's all sorts of things to you can pick up for your camp. That's cool. That is so cool. This is so nice. Okay, so before when I went through here and played the game, this was all empty. There was nobody here. Uh, nothing was here. This is so cool. So you can make this like a little base to begin with. Oh, wow, this is so nice. Um, when I came through here before, there was nothing here before. It was just basically you trying to shoot your way through a bunch of ticks, I think. I think it was ticks. I'm not sure. Um, you had one Protectron robot out here kind of patrolling, and that was it. Uh, no, oh, you okay? What happened? Lumberjack Protectron works all night and also works all day. But now, what happened? <laughs> I just, I, I swear, I just went outside Lumberjack and looked at all this. <gasps> These guys are all just kind of like dropped. All the responders just kind of dropped. Uh, okay. I, okay. I didn't do anything. And now, now we got these guys. And I don't even know who these guys are. Hello there, stranger. Where'd you come ambling in from? Uh, One of those vault dwellers, are you? I've heard tell of your kind. Solved a lot of problems. And caused a lot of problems from what I hear. You wouldn't happen to be one of the problem-solving kind, would you? I could use one of those right about now. Well, yeah, I kind of am, but... Oh, ex oh, I probably should have waited and let him introduce himself. Hello there, stranger. Where'd you come ambling in from? Uh, we, we were talking about this. One of those vault dwellers, are you? I've heard tell of your kind. Solved a lot of problems. And caused a lot of problems from what I hear. You wouldn't happen to be one of the problem-solving kind, would you? I could use one of those right about now. Oh, excuse me. Let me introduce myself. Name's Lane Platt. I'm with the Responders. We're a band of self-titled do-gooders around these parts. Appalach is filling up fast, and we're trying to keep everyone hale and healthy and off each other's throats. I like to think so. It gives me hope that we can one day right all the wrongs in this world. Um, okay, so what did you do with the other responders? Why are they all collapsed on the floor? They were all kind of in here wandering around doing their thing, and then all of a sudden, Lumberjack they're on the floor, and then you guys take care of them. This is weird. No responders want to help, need aid, stand together, rebuild America. Responders reborn. But this is pretty cool. I, I do like this. I, I, I wow. I would often come up here and get uh, you know lumber. What's always in stock? Radiated drinking water. Yeah. Um, I'd always come up here and get material for my um, yeah yeah, my um, my camp. Whenever I had a camp set up, it wasn't too far away from here. Um. I would come up here and get wood when I needed to. Now this is something that's special with Fallout 76 if you've never done it before. It's called a punch card machine. And what it does... Oh, you have to be at least level 25 to use the punch card machine. Okay. Uh, what it does is it can actually switch your attributes from one to another. So for example, if you have like a melee build and you want to switch over to a more of a rifle build, you can do that with this. Um, it does allow you to switch back and forth from one to the other. Oh, I'm so sorry about these guys. I don't know why they fell on the floor. Okay, medical supplies, vending machine, ammunition, vending machine. Okay, that's yes, cool. Yes, I am good at my job. Thank you for asking. Oh, okay. But, no, that's I, not I a didn't lie. ask. And this guy's down, too. What, what is going on? What happened? Why did these guys, two guys show up and they replace the other ones? Just, just like that. Uh, that's kind of weird. 
So I guess you can make this into like a little mini base until you get your own camp built up. Aluminum scrap, wood scrap. Yeah, see, this is all what I would use to come up here for. I'd come up here and get all my wood and stuff like that. And any other scrap. But it was filled with ghouls and ticks. I think it was ticks, mostly. He's down, too. Look at that. This guy's down as well. What happened? What in the... I don't know what happened to these guys. That made them fall just like... They just, like, bald. Just bald. That's not even a word. Bald. They just fell. I mean, it's just like... Bleh. They're done. Detector on our way over there. Uh, yeah, I would come here and get wood. Which I don't, I don't know if you can get it. Yeah, there's wood pile there. Um. Yeah, I don't. Hmm. You should be able to get wood just right out of the wood pile. I mean, all the wood here like this. But I don't. That's kind of weird. Okay, but that's pretty cool. I, that's good to know. I, I, uh, I didn't realize it had now been turned into like a first responder base, which I can't understand why these guys have all just kind of like been blue and fell. And then now these guys are kind of in charge. Maybe it's two different shifts. Maybe they just they're just so tired they just fall right, right where they're right, right where they're at. They just fall I'm like I'm so tired. Here's a stash. You can put wood stuff in your stash box. That's ever. cool. Another wood pile. Okay. Anyway, that's good to know. Let's move on. We'll move on down to the farmhouse. And see what's going on there. That's different. Okay. So this is where we usually meet our first scorched. So I don't know. Since it's kind of like a new game for me. Almost. I don't know what to expect. I don't know who's in here now. Oh, yep, there's still some scorched. Uh huh. I see you. Come on. Look at this. Look at this. Cattle grate. That's so cool. Oh, that's not. Okay. Um. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's one thing about the Scorch. They shoot back. But they got some good stuff sometimes. Okay. Check on that later. These guys here you gotta be careful with. Um, you get close to them, they explode and radiate you. The Wicks and Homestead. Yeah, but these cattle grates, I love the cattle grates, that's a good touch. Um, the cattle grates keep cattle from cattle hate to uh, a cow hates to walk over this because they want to get their foot stuck in these little things here. So they put these cattle grates to keep the cattle back, and then you can drive over them in a car. Yeah, you gotta be careful of these things here because they do explode and irradiate you. Yeah, I think he's got two shots to knock them down. Here's another one in here, too. Yep. See, one just exploded right there. If I was right nearby, it would have radiated me a little bit more. It doesn't take much. Just a little touch. And... And they do that. Okay, see, 
state. Yeah, yeah state on a radiation there. Okay. Got that mod. Oh, there's another one right there. Petrified corpse. Ooh, just gotta be careful. another uh, adhesive you can use. Okay. So I know that you can pick up a gun inside the house, so we're going to do that. And there's another mission, I think, with a um, Mr. Handy robot and cats in this um in this area as well where's that smoke coming from oh it's coming from there oh it's oh that's okay that's cool let's check this out real quick first because it's outside the outer perimeter here and yes you can make this this into a little base too if you want to Workbench, you can make ammo. Um, railway spikes. Uh, bulk stuff. Chest. Energy ammo. Explosive ammo. Gifts. Mines. Quest items. Souvenirs. Trog plushie. Oh, really? Can you really? Oh, that's cool. Uh, Ultrasight ammo. Let's make it. Make. Okay. Oh, exit. Okay. So, yeah. And you can also scrap items here as well. Modify, repair. Modify, repair. What can we modify and repair? I forget. No items. Okay. I guess we can't. Okay. So, anyway. Yeah, so cool. By the way, also in this game, you can start out as level 1 or level 20. It's your choice. I didn't realize I had done that when I first started. That's why I went back and restarted over again. Because I wanted to start off as level 20. I thought that would be pretty nice. wood here as well. Also, these blocks are wood. When you're building your camp, you're going to need lots of wood to start off with. Oh, there's a cat. So at this point, you're probably asking, who are the Scorched? And we actually will find that out later on in the game. Who the Scorched are. Quick the second. Make sure it's dead. It is. Scorp, scorp. Serpentine. Better less death. A short combat article. Message to Sammy. Responders don't know shit. 
Every night there's more of them in the sky. Brotherhood warned them, warned us all, defiance has fallen. They said, what the hell does that mean? Supplies running low, may try to get to Abbey, way over the mountain. Free states have got to know. Sammy, you read this, get to Abbey. Straight east, the Red Rocket Mega Stop. She knows the Brotherhood of Steel better than anyone. May angels look after you, because sure as shit, nothing else will. That starts us on a quest. Abby's bunker. And we've got to pet the cat. We can't act around. Okay. Meow. Just wait a second. Meow. All right. Around. Okay, so not as active as it usually is in here, which I think is kind of weird. Um, all right, I'm out of way here. Run. Okay. So we'll just keep running walking. We're right down this way. To the wayward. And it's just down the road here. Actually, it's close to where I built my first camp when I started playing this game. Across the road, that's the wayward, and over here across the road is the overseer's first camp that she set up. And she set it up in case anybody came from the vault would find it first. So we got a small, so we have a lot of stuff that we can pick up here. Uh, small, that, 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 purified water, can't dump it. Because the overseer was kind of strange. Um, dwellers, it says. Combat knife. Uh, um, uh -huh. Here's the armor workbench. Um, loose screws, excessive adhesive, loose screws, loose spring. All the stuff you need for um, building, modifying, everything. All right here. And a stash box. Some place you can put all your stuff in. I think only, but I think with this one, yeah, I, no, I think this, I don't know. I can't remember. One of them you gotta be careful with because other people can come in and grab your stuff. But I think with the stash box, it just um, can only see and access their own items from a stash. Okay, so yeah, so if you put your stuff in a stash box, only you can see it. Nobody else can see it, nobody else can get to it. So there's a place, like I said, you can you can um, kind of work on your armor if you want to. A light armor. Okay, so I can make some light armor now. Another chest piece, level 20. Just one. The other ones? I don't know. Okay. Oh. I don't have 
enough stuff now. Oh, yeah, I don't have enough. Okay, anyway, there we go. So let's look inside here, see what we got. Oh, no, that's not one. I don't want to build anything yet. Um, I think I'm going to sell quite a bit of it. Okay. And with that, I think we'll go ahead and end the video. Because we will go over here to the Wayward and meet some folks and possibly uh, do a little selling and trading of some of our stuff that we have. Oh, here's another donations box. These are new. I've never seen the donations box before. Um, we can put stuff in, leave stuff. I guess it would be a lot easier to do that other than just dropping it on the ground. Some people drop them on the ground for other players um, to pick up. Uh, so I think the donations box is a pretty good idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer some of my stuff in there. Um, yeah, we'll just, we'll leave some stuff there for somebody. And we'll take the, that. Okay. So, before we go in. Let me show you where my old camp used to be at. My old camp used to be right over here. Actually. Yep, right there. Actually, right in that spot there. Um, however, I always had trouble because everybody always kept putting camps right next to mine. And what I eventually will do is I'll put a map in here showing you what West Virginia actually does look like. And as you can see, there's no resemblance. <laughs> Very little resemblance in the two. Uh, it's maybe slightly, but not completely. But yeah, if you're interested, we will go ahead and continue to uh, explore Fallout 76. I will show you the differences between um, the real um, places and the game places. Uh, for example, right now, there are no towns that are shown on the Ohio River. This river right here is known as the Ohio River. Um, the only town that's shown is this one right here, which is Point Pleasant, where the Mothman is. Even my hometown is in here. Um, and also, when you go down here to uh, Camden Park, which I think is a different name here, this is Huntington, this is the area right here, and as you can see, it's not there either. Uh, this is Welch, which actually should be over here more. Uh, this is Mount Blair, which, you know, certain area there too. This, I think, represents Bramwell. I'll tell you about that later if you're interested. And, um, and we do have a canny and canny caverns. We do have a lot of caverns. Um, but yeah. So, like I said, if you're interested in the game, just view it. Give it a like. Comment. Subscribe. And we'll continue to play Fallout 76, and I'll try to show you the differences, like this place right here, right over here. Um, tell you that what the differences are between the real life version of these and the game version. But until then, we will see you in the next video.